Hey guys, I am back with another video and today we are with our 4,000 subscribers special and as the fog disappears, you guys will be able to tell what it is. That's like really bright. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got Mr. Bus Driver bonking into everything. We figured we'd make it extra special with all the fog. If you guys haven't already have uh, seen, it's a another school bus. Yay! <laughs> And uh, if you guys were paying attention to a couple of our videos, uh, we were we actually showed it in the school bus step repair uh, video number two or three, whatever it was. And then in the bus driving home, which was posted recently. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> That's great. And here it is. And it is a 2011 Thomas Safety Liner C2. All the fog still. <laughs> but uh, we're going to let the fog dissipate a little bit and we'll be back. Alright, so it was a bit too smoky to do it in the shop, but uh, that was just for the grand finale, or the whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a 2011 Thomas Safety Liner C2 with a 6.7 Cummins, uh, no DEF, you know, it's great. And uh, as you can tell, it's a very clean bus for being... Uh, let's see 12 years old It's got its little mark and rustage here But that's just normal and up there But in the springtime this is gonna get fixed because that's getting worse by the day and This here too It's climbing down the new panels because this bus had uh, you can see it on the other side, this side not so much. It's had from the half down, all new panels. So, as you can tell, it's a West Jenny bus. And I asked him, because they usually strip the letters all off, but I asked him if, he said he had to take the name off, but at least I got the rest. And, uh, we got a battery tray and new rollers and they actually slide out you don't see that that often and a little mark there that's it. yeah whatever it could be fixed has the grill covered and I recently bought this on auctions international and there's a reason I wanted it so bad. Of course, the hood's being stubborn again. Oh, and this bus has had a lot, a lot of newer work with it. Uh, newer reservoir, brand new radiator, hoses, all that. Um, a newer turbo. Um, see those little, um, forgot the name of them. Those always go bad. Um, as you can tell, newer belt, newer tensioner. Like, there's just, it goes on and on. <laughs> uh, new steer tires, which are all mud now, but that's all right. Um, with these new buses, it's like an AC compressor 
where the clutch engages it and all that fancy jazz let's see no def as i said um exteriors light um yeah they already switched out the tires so i got bad crappy ones in the back they repainted sandblasted all the bumpers down newer trim piece here not a bad bus for being 12 years old in the New York salt. Here's the underneath. You know, Thomas in there. Uh, rubber undercoat. Very crappy. And it just sheds away. So, newer fuel tank. Uh, everything to do with the airbags. Like, everything are new including the airbags that's nice um new slack adjusters everything with the brakes are new just had new brakes done in 2020 and yeah you got your new york salt there all that stupid same with this side a little crusty but Nothing concerning because the frame, they make them very thick on these. Here's a step well. You know, it's, my, it's really, it's just the top here I'm going to redo in the spring here. But uh, I'm going to lay new treads. This is the underside. Tell me that's not bad shape. That's pretty good. Um, had a new door cylinder whatever the heck you call it uh, new kick plate on both sides new trim piece here they got rid of the diamond plate which I'm fine with um like I said no DEF it's got 111 a quick walk around Seats are in good shape. It's got the retractable seat belts. It's got a little bit of seat damage here, here, and there. That's really all, though. Everything's in good shape. Nice broom holder. Stupid deactivator button. And, you know. Oh, and it's got Vandalock. Looks like a new door. Probably is. But other than that, you know. You got your double flasher stop signs. Oh, yeah. And they also have the large mirrors on this, which is great. I absolutely love them. I actually might consider switching 159 over to them too. But, uh, you know, you know, you got your normal Thomas, even, never found this out before, even the M2 keyhole. So if I really wanted to, I could move the key ignition to down here. Even though that'd be kind of stupid, so. Horn, lights, do a start up. Anything else I'm missing? Oh yeah, I switched over the bulbs to LEDs. A lot brighter, and this one turns on. Still gotta do the step well light. And I'd say, Oh, and this bus only has one heater in the back, which is silly. You got your fan, fan. This one's a little rattly for no reason. You got your engine brake and exterior speaker. Uh, mirror heat. Uh, I don't know. It's just regular Thomas things. Oh, you know, we'll do one here. There's that. 
It has a high oil pressure too. It's great. We'll do a quick walk around of it. As you can tell, engine's running but not engine fan. So, like I said, it's just as uh, the AC compressor, just like it. Got your exterior step oil light or step light, whatever. Um, you can give me a full tank with the bus too when I picked it up. There's the back. The exhaust smells absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can smell it. I'm sure, it smells really good. There's this. This stop sign overextends a little bit. This is where it should be, but whatever. Okay, here's a quick underneath of the bus. You still need to do a regen on them. This does a DPF. Those are the preheater. And I got lucky because on like 302, the coolant lines run inside of the bus. And there's only one heater, so that that's probably why. What the heck? Let's say that mirror's a little off. Looks like a. Oh, and it has the auto brake feature. So, say if you're um, when you activate the reds, see it's in drive right now. We're moving. When you activate the reds, like this, it stops the bus. And you can't move. So until you deactivate it, see, it stops it right away. And then stop signs are there. So now we're going to demonstrate the child check, I guess. As you can tell, the doors are open, are open, and uh, we're gonna leave them open because. See? There you go. You gotta shut the doors. And it doesn't matter if it's a roof hatch. You know, we may as well demonstrate it because I thought this was quite funny. Who's gonna escape out of the roof hatch just to avoid the child check? Like, really? But, being real, you walk back to the bus, check every seat, bottoms, all that. Make sure none of them loosen back up. Which, they're all fine. You can push this little button here. And that would deactivate it. Pain in the ass. Anyway. More safety, which we don't need. Has the little uh, seat things. That actually works quite good. But as I was saying, the coolant lines run in the inside of the bus. There's no rear, or there's no front heater. As you can tell, I'll prove it. There's only one, that's the wheel well, that's the wheel well with the heater in the back. There's no front heater for no reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. 
less things to go wrong with it. There's no blinker noises, unfortunately. We'll do a opening and closing of the door, shall we? Let me get it. Uh... And you uh, like it let out the air. You can push them open for this. You close them. Key turn. You're not getting in it. Same with the rear. You just that's like inside of the bus. But I've also noticed this is worn out in here. Um, yeah, you can, if you take the key out too soon, or whatever it is, you just, you have, you can, you can close your doors, but somebody can get right in it. Like that. But as I said, you know, oh well. Yeah, it's, um getting replaced or not replaced these um let's see treads yeah treads there we go are getting taken out and they're going in 302 you know and this is getting new treads same with the 159 that is i don't know what color these are i think these are gray they call them even though they look green 159 is getting the black treads when I decided to do that. But as you can tell, I have worked on putting stainless steel screws in each of the treads. Where the old ones, because they rust out. And I only got one of these. This is the original tread. These are redone. Which, you know, I don't know. It's silly. I just figured I'd throw stainless steel screws in there. Because it'll be easier to take them out in the spring. So, at least I got a couple. I got this one here, that one there, but, I don't know. But like I was saying, these treads are going to 302 when that step gets done. We may have to do a little bit of altering to these treads, but oh well, they're old. And this is the regen information. Yes, it still has to regen. So, if you guys want, you can pause the video and look at that. And, I'd say, it does not have an interlock. Interlock. So you can undo the air brake and watch the bus roll with it off. And then, you just do this. Classic Thomas. It's unfortunate though. It's sister 23 is still sitting in the corner of the lot. So whoever bought 23 did not pick it up yet. And without them picking it up, I might be able to buy it. Since it's already gone through auction. Because I've had that happen before. They offered a bus 16 to me. Someone bought it for 1500. Said at West Jenny for like six months. And they offered it to me because they were just going to sell underneath the guy because he didn't pick it up. So they offered it to me for a grand. So I'm hoping that happens to 23 because I'd like them to be re reunited again. I will buy whoever's out there who bought 23 or won the bid. Let me know. <laughs> These need to get reunited again. Same with 20 and 25. Those are probably long gone now. Um, but 21 and 22, same with them. We need to get reunited again. I think it'll be amazing. But, uh, because West Jenny only had five of these buses. But, uh, 20, this is actually bus 20's turbo. I totally forgot to point that out. Bus 20's turbo is on this bus. 
and bus 20 only had like 80,000 miles and same with bus 25 which I saw at the scrapyard unfortunately at down at Weitzman's and uh, yeah that was a shame because uh, rest in peace or pieces I don't know that bus was parted out anyway so it's not like I really cared anyway but whoever owns 21 and 22 let me know but that one guy bought all those buses last year auction so and you know 23 is just sitting in the corner of the lot all all the letters are stripped off of it unfortunately but it's all right because my plan is see where it says we could do like jren 12 central school district or jren 12 yeah jren 12 youtube yt central school district oh that's so funny i think it'd be hilarious that new stop sign this mirror looks original and this mirror looks brand new anyway a lot of new videos coming up because this now because uh 302 oh this would not be good going in someone's tire how many times i've driven over that <laughs> hilarious come on there we go. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Oh, there's three of them. Come on, you little... Okay. Well, I don't know what I did that for. That's going to go right through someone's tire. It's a good thing I caught it. <sighs> what am I doing? Okay, that just snapped off. Three pieces of... Apparently this is like, all this is road milling, so that's steel. <laughs> we used to scrap a lot of that. There we go. This bus, you know, I got lucky with this bus. It's actually decent. And... It has a new DPF and a bunch of uh, engine parts. Just great. Damn mud. There's no light test. Those do not work in a, an accessory. They will and run. You also got these. Which is the newer style. Um, well, I think they just put them on because the old ones always broke off. Better design. Like they actually clip on the right way to the arm. But, uh, you know, this horn's very wimpy. So I say 100 likes and we'll, we'll throw an air horn on it. Or, you know, a train horn. 100 likes train horn on this thing. We're doing it. And 302. Just sitting there. Back down there. Just all sad. Waiting to get fixed. Because these two hasn't haven't met yet. It's funny. Because when I picked up 302. This bus was sitting right next to it. So. Tell me that's not weird. And. I don't know. It's a school bus. 
So, I think I've covered pretty much everything. And a lot more videos to come up with. Time for the driving test, or test driving.